Hello, gentle viewer. This is Aventian, welcoming you to a new episode of Europa Universalis 4 as the Uesugi Shogun. In the previous episode, we absorbed one of our vassals, conquered a couple of other smaller nations, and we've got ourselves a very fine indeed looking Japan. It's not perfect yet, and it's unlikely we'll be beating Ming anytime soon. Korea might actually be a possibility. We might be able to reclaim some of the parts of Japan that Korea took, but the rest of it is doubtful. But perhaps our future lies across the sea, as we have just discovered the new world, and there are definite possibilities for us here. Now, right now we don't, once we finish Wake Island, which I just started colonizing last time, I think we'll have enough range to start colonizing the western portion of this continent. And that would be a very, very welcome change to uh, to our game. Um, it'll give us a new source of wealth, a new source of power, make ourselves a colonial nation. It'll be great. It'll be awesome. But for now, we're just going to focus on making money. Because we also need to, if possible, absorb the um, Renaissance. Embrace the Renaissance. Why did I say absorb? Embrace the Renaissance. Ming have embraced global trade. They're flying along the institutions track. I'm not even remotely close to any of them, am I? Renaissance we're working on. Which province has embraced it? That's one thing I don't like about this. Oh, Kyoto. Where do I see institutions here? I'm just going to stare at this blankly for a little bit until I figure out where it might be. No idea. Hmm. I've got loads of Diplo power. What if we work on improving cultures? It's under government, right? Yeah, here we go. If we promote it, it'll cost 100, but it'll significantly improve our base tax, I think. Let's do that. And then we'll wait and see if others look better. That should help us make even more money. And we're going to need a lot of money to adopt the Renaissance. Why are we all of a sudden losing cash? I don't know. Um, I will take a hit for that. And we'll go and do that too. And I just had to take a loan now. Couldn't really be helped. Oh, did you? Yeah, you unmothballed the forts, didn't you? No, you. They're the moth. They're mothballed. Oh, I'm over the land force limit. Oh. disband you and let's have you join let's just go ahead and pay the loan back no what well, do I just go whole hog take out a bunch of loans well here let's cut military maintenance by about half that'll start bringing in a lot more money too Because the quicker we can embrace the Renaissance, the better it will be for us. I wish I could see for sure which institutions a particular province has embraced. I don't know. 
political refugees. Let's send them back. No, let's keep them. Um, yes, please. Production efficiency and cheaper ideas. Beautiful. That's so good. Um, here we go. Oh, I see. Anything in the dark green has embraced the Renaissance. Oh. Oh, we're doing very well. Can we watch it, like, get embraced? That would be super cool. Boop. That is so neat. I could stay in this map mode forever now. More peasants. What is with the bloody peasants? I don't even care that we're not full maintenance. I'm just gonna murder you. Or maybe I'll lose because I'm an idiot. I severely underestimated how big a deal that would make. How did they take Mino so quickly? Mino's got a bloody castle. Go finish him off. And you're dead. I still probably get some kind of tool tip as soon as it's ready to, um, you know, do the thing. As soon as I can embrace an institution. Excellent. A boost to stability. Very welcome. Um, let's go and just return them back. We know about Europe now. It's been a good year for Poland, Lithuania. We have Great Britain, Spain, France, all that looks pretty normal. The Ottomans, still kicking tail. Russia's expanding nicely. Sweden is nicely sized. Yeah. Excellent. Let's make West Micronesia, why not? Okay, Guam is now a core. Does this mean I can start expanding here? I can. Let's do it. Pay the loan, please. Wait, what the? Oh, I see your problem. You're in a place where you're actually experiencing attrition. Go into a worry, please. There we go. Age of absolutism. I could be the Emperor of China. That's not likely to happen. Korea is now an administrative monarchy. Excellent for them, I guess. Money is it to adopt this stupid Renaissance now? We're getting closer.
And the other institutions aren't being adopted yet. We're actually getting quite an expansion in um, global trade. Shimazu just embraced the Renaissance. Yeah, now we can actually do global trade as well. Probably go with Renaissance, I think. All right, let's back out. I just want to see if a tooltip pops up. Guam has been converted. Lovely. I will let the National Bank add some inflation. I do not want to have to pay when I'm saving up my money to embrace the Renaissance. I can execute him for treason. Yeah, I'll take the prestige hit. I know it'll make embracing the institution a little more expensive. I frankly don't really care. Damn it, Bushi. Quit making me call the bloody D at all the time. Hit them control like over like a colony or something. Yeah, here we go. Nah, let's not do that. I've got other ways I can improve their loyalty. Like calling another D yet. How big a generation? Do I uh -huh. there was like a way to trade provinces because I would happily trade Taiwan to Ming for some of the provinces in Japan. I should have enough to adopt. Here we go. Oh, you do get one. Nice. Change our technology cost by minus 50%. Let's do it right now. Military tack. Done. Let's get ourselves a large cast iron can. I'd like to also adopt global trade as soon as I can, too. Because it starts in Beijing, it actually should mean that it's a little bit easier for us. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's make the Bushi more loyal. Korea just accepted the Renaissance. Diplotech, yes please. Now we can build shipyards. Gokaido costs a bunch of money, but for 10 years gives me national tax modifier. Do it. Admin tech. Oh, I took out a loan without paying attention. Sorry. A good way to make faraway friends. I'll take the boost of prestige. 
any day. Ooh, Scarsa makes tea. Nice. Yeah, I know at some point I'll actually need to send someone there. I get the way of tea. Absolutely. Perhaps we should start growing it ourselves. Yes. You know what here? Let's... Do I have enough to add another soldier? I do have enough, yeah. Give me two here, and I'm gonna up here build one regiment of infantry. And they'll get a um, conquistador. Robber barons. Bushi like me, merchants hate me. Sure, that sounds fine. Ooh. Have a Monopoly Charter. Now you like me again. Tomofusa Masaki? Shimazu just accepted global trade. Stupid Shimazu. Eh, we take a stability hit. I can't really do anything about that. Now Micronesia is most definitely Terra Cognita. As soon as Wake is colonized, we'll do Micronesia. Yeah, let's have you sail there. Wait, what the hell? Why are you sailing all around the world? Sure, why not? Oh, we're gonna take some damage until we get there. Development of iron working. Why am I taking so much? Where are we in right now, by the way? TM parts. If we discard T, civilization will swiftly follow. I have a feeling I'm going to lose this entire fleet. Because I don't know if they'll get back to our land in time. Exactly one ship made it back. 
And it wasn't my transport, so I lost the soldier too. Well, I'm just gonna disband you, and we'll just build a new fleet. I need to stop doing crap like that. Oh, uh, not my bloody air. I'll take a prestige hit. Bloody hell, Tomofusa was so good too. Damn it. More like Fury overtakes me. Let's go ahead and just start rebuilding the fleet. I think that's more important than messing around with um with more with bad well, no, because we're actually about to get better tech anyway. How close are we to getting global trade? Not super close, but it does give us a bonus merchant, which makes it not bad. Create keeps rejecting tributary status. They should just kind of accept it. Yeah, repay the loan. Z want privileges. I don't care how much the merchant guild hates me. What can I get out of the bushi? Oh, I didn't know that. Go ahead and take 100 military power. It's not like it's not useful, and it'll help us and other things too. Yeah, let's go ahead and let you have some uh, some people there. Excuse me. Let's get some development in Kyoto. Clergy wants another province. Clergy, you can have like this tiny bit of Taiwan. Let's see here. We lose Navy tradition. I don't really need Navy tradition. Let's embrace global trade. It's a free merchant. And that in and of itself is a good thing. Here it is. Let's see here.
Why are you collecting zero trade power? Because I don't have any actual trade power. That yeah, let's have you just transfer the trade power then. That's actually much more helpful. I should really be focusing more on the Philippines than just the New World. What are the colonists? Give me Micronesia next. I will send them. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, here's the problem. If I focus my time trying to build this into a colonial nation, which is fine. No, I will actually do that. It's fine. The reason I'm doing it is because I know once I finish with Micronesia, I can then start redeveloping the Philippines. Give me your trade power. Secrets in our alliance. I'll just cut him off. Airless. Strength and solace. Or we don't have a new tradition to accept anytime soon, do we? This is a great time then to build up the fleet. Oh no, wait, that's right. I was gonna wait till I got the next diplo attack, wasn't I? That's quite a ways away. Why am I not getting diplo attack very quickly? Yeah, that's fine. Um, sure. Uh, let's do financial incentives. That's oh, right, I want the better cavalry, don't I? Okay, let's start building ships. Or do I just... See, the thing is, if I wait, it makes more sense. 
actually, let's go ahead and expand the army instead. One, two, three, and four. Um, what else can I build? I would like to actually upgrade Kyoto's Ford, actually. Do it. And then what can I do to increase my trade power? At this point? I've got some real good choices here. There we go. And as 1625 begins, that is it for this particular episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, we're very brief, we're very slowly increasing in on the New World. Um, we've got some other colonies in Southeast Asia. It doesn't look very likely that we're ever going to be able to kick Ming out of um, Japan, but it's possible. Or, or the fact they've got, like, how many troops do they have? They've got to have, like, 300,000 at this point. Or close to it. Ledger. Armies. Total. Only almost 200,000. My god. Here's Uesugi, though. We're not that bad off. Um... If we have even the tiniest bit of a chance of defeating Ming, we need a powerful ally. What about Russia? Would you ever consider an alliance? No, we're too far apart. What about the Ottomans? Too far apart. We need a strong ally against Ming if we're ever going to win. And the problem is it doesn't look like there is one that's in the region. Looks like we, like, support Jaunpur or something. And we'll send him a diplomat. We got loads of them. So without a way to overturn Ming, we're probably never going to unite Japan. But... We can add lots of extra power in other ways. Especially as we, the west coast of Scarsa. So yeah, we'll see what happens as we continue to discover new lands and colonize them. Um, Philippines is going to be another major focus. Because we're sitting here on a potential gold mine. I mean, there's really high base tax stuff in here. Definitely worth our time. But that'll have to be for another episode. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this has been Avindian, wishing you good day, good luck, and good fortune.